In this video, I'm going to teach you how to become powerful and confident in your speech, when to dial it back, and give you three cool examples. Stick around. So let's get right into it. This is SOS Science of Speech. I am your host, Austin, and let's talk dynamics. Your voice is a musical instrument, much like this guitar here, Ibanez. It has volume and tone knobs. That's exactly what dynamics is. It's the EQ equalizer, the volume, tone, and emotion in your voice. This is how you get that power and that confidence and when to dial it back as needed. And if you want to see dynamics in action, the description below has a link to my Twitch channel. Follow me there and ask me any kind of questions you might have. I am there Tuesday, Thursday evenings and on weekends by announcement in the Discord. So confidence has to do with your pacing and your pitch, and I'm going to give you the first example before we get to the Twitch clip. I'm going to say a sentence without confidence and then with, and you tell me what you think the difference is. First off, we're going to go in and win this. And with confidence, we're going to go in and win this tonight. What do you think the biggest difference was? Well, the confidence comes from being sure of what you were speaking about, practicing in advance, and oftentimes keeping it simple. See, if you know what you're talking about, you're authoritative, you can also be relatable so that people will understand, and if you practice, you get comfortable with it, and if you keep it simple, you don't get bogged down with all the confusing information in your head. Now one key point to note is, powerful does not mean louder. Just by raising my voice, it doesn't mean it's any more powerful, it just means it's louder, although sometimes it can call for that. So it's also important to be able to know when to dial it back. So if you're speaking with someone that's more soft-spoken, relaxed, not as loud, and you're coming 90 miles an hour with an announcer voice, it just is not going to match up. The key is to match up to who you're speaking with. And if it's a serious situation, dial it back a little bit, maybe become a little more quiet, reserved, just depending on what you're working with. If it's a sad story that you're reading, you don't want to sound excited. You want to sound morose, somber, serious. So here's a fun example. I'm going to play a clip from a famous speech. Roll it. That they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! How much weaker would it have sounded if it would have been like this? That they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom? I mean, it just kills the whole power of the speech, of the statement, of everything. And I'm going to give you a real-life example that happened to me. I'm going to show you some footage from February when Charlie Pryor hosted me on Twitch, brought 300, over 300 viewers to the stream. And you can see how exciting that was when that happened. And then I'm going to show you the opposite, a trap that's easy to fall into. Let's see it right now. All right, there should be one more night. Are you with me? There he is, right there. We're going to go for the headshot. Come on. There it is. No, 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 I missed it. On the go headshot. No, I could not get it. Could not get it. Okay, well, there's still some more opportunities later in the level to be able to get that. With the summon around, we're going to go to the Berserk. So I've actually prepared a reenactment for a trap that's easy to fall into, and it's definitely something you want to watch for. Say you've been streaming or making a video for two or three hours. You've had a bad day. Things just are not going your way. And then you fall into this. Oh, hey, welcome. Wow, Charlie, nice. Thanks for the 300-person host. Uh, just coming for Charlie's stream with a headshot challenge. Last level of the game. I'm trying to get a little hype here. Uh, it's pretty tense. We're on Ultra Nightmare mode. And you know, just like a guitar amp has bass, mids, and treble for the EQ, when you fall into that trap, you're basically flatlining your voice. It's like you're turning everything to zero, and it's losing all the tone, the emotion, and the power that you're going for. Sneak peek to next week, we're going to be talking about the one speaking mistake you didn't know you were making, and I didn't until I was coached on it. Comment below on what your biggest hurdle with confidence is, and then come over on the Discord and we'll talk about it there as well. Click the video to the left to check up on last week's topic on how to overcome your fears and nerves when you turn the camera and the mic on. I'm Austin, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.